Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We have a brand new Intec trailer, RV trailer, to show you. This is the 2023 OVR Expedition, right? Yep. Brand new Overland trailer from Intec. We are just gonna run through this, guys. No editing. We're live at the uh, Tampa show. I keep saying Tampa. Hershey. At the Hershey show. I have Tampa on my mind, I right? Know. I have January on my mind. Uh, but this is a really cool trailer. They did some things different on here than with their other trailers. One of our most popular videos is the uh, our first in tech. Which one was that? Come over here. You're in the shade. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Terra, I believe, which is one of the most popular. Yeah, that yeah. was one of the most popular uh, videos. But again, brand new one. Let's start right up front, guys. If you know anything about in tech or the RV industry, right? A lot of times with trailers and standard they get a steel frame from a manufacturer of a chassis then they put their frame on top sometimes wood sometimes aluminum Intec does it different they do everything in-house so they weld it's they weld their chassis they make their chassis and they weld all the walls aluminum so it's one piece very very strong they are in the stacker business first so they make trailers for hauling heavy weight and they take that same kind of mentality to their RVs. They're super popular, very highly rated amongst their customers. So let's start right up front, guys. Why is this one a little different? So if you look at this one here, the Terra, Terra Rover. Rover, Oasis Terra Rover, fiberglass walls, right? You still have the aluminum chassis, you still have the aluminum walls all welded. This, aluminum. Everything here is aluminum. Anonized here. It has the, the that diamond coating. So it's made for the off-road. You're going to hit rocks. This is not going to rust, guys, because it's anonized. Here you have your aluminum power tongue jack by LCI with the light on and off. You can't really see it here. This is a 30 amp coach. Double 20 pound propane. Why 20 pound? Why is that something significant? You could do 30, right? But 20 pounds you could swap out anywhere. So if you go to a Walmart or your gas station, anywhere you can swap these out very quickly and you have double now it is an off-road capable trailer so if you're going off-road you want to make sure you have a spare tire because you never know when something could happen you get a flat tire manual leveling jacks here stabilizing jacks really let's start over these are fiberglass doors actually no i think no this is aluminum i stand corrected that is aluminum so look over here, you have uh, that infinity weave, a little bit of storage. And another big thing that Intec does, guys, they give you a nice slide out tray. You're in an overland trailer, you're going to be outside. You wanna take advantage of the outdoors. So you have your griddle here. It's already plumbed right into those propane tanks and you have your outdoor, I'm not gonna open it because it's locked in here, but you have your outdoor freezer refrigerator. Super nice, guys. Yeah, you broke it. No, I'm not gonna leave it. It was out anyway. There's a way that I'm yeah, doing it wrong, yeah, but it definitely just, goes. Yeah. So not frameless windows, just regular windows. You have a big Gerard awning with LED lights underneath. You see also the LED uh, porch light and these damn lantern bugs. They're, they're out of control. See that? It didn't dent. <laughs> <laughs> so more of that diamond uh, plating finish here. Uh, here are your tires, guys. What size are these? What size? Uh, 235, 75, 15s. Look how thick the, the aluminum chassis is. It's built up, all welded. Yeah. Now we went out to the factory. We did a video on that. You wanna go check it out, go to our playlist. You can see how these things are built. Nobody's running around in that factory. Remember that? It's Everything very is taken organized. in time, yes. clean, organized. Double step, manual, less to go wrong. Double outlets out here. And then you look at the back. Now I asked a gentleman from Intech, Jim, uh, I see the seam here, I don't see any rivets. I said, how do you hold the aluminum wall? So well, very much like show hauler, uh, they use a VHB tape. So it works for a lot of different uh, applications. We use VHB tape all the time and to hold things. And what do we things. call VHB tape? Izzy tape. Izzy, well, <laughs> other actually people started calling Somebody else call it. <laughs> What I do like here, I don't know if you see how that, that overhang the over, there. Yeah, that's So look, cool. I'm like hitting the sun and oh, I'm in the shade now. Yeah, even with if it's drizzling or whatever, take it, a little I'd like cover that. there. Now look over here, you have a, a lockable door with some storage. storage. Now what and Jim- I know you probably like the flooring here too. Infinity weave, yep. yes. 
Now, the, if you see that storage, this is a prototype, guys, although they are taking orders. They, they are available for sale. Uh, LED lights back here. Uh, what Jim just told me is that uh, the plan is to make this a full, take that wall out, make that a full pass-through, which would uh, probably be a really good idea. I like the, um, the exterior colors, too. I do. The, the, I really do like that. The little orange strip light, the little intake mm -hmm. here, it's cool. Now, this is not painted, you know, the, the panels are painted, but this is just a decal, just so everybody knows, mm -hmm. to be clear on that. Outdoor shower. And now this is a gas and electric uh, propane uh, water heater. Gravity fill, city fill. Here's your exhaust for your furnace. Really simple over here, 30 amp coach. Here is your cable. I'm sorry, that's a solar hookup. Just cable. gonna give a little look here of the whole thing. Okay. Solar hookup, cable hookup. Here is the area for your stinky slinky. And then over here, you have uh, some more storage. I, my, it's working on there, right? Like you can hear me. You seeing the little the line I'm going back the and green forth? Move, yeah. we, we wouldn't want that. That like we go through this whole thing and then you can't hear no, us. That would not be good. So this is. Here's the thing with Intec. Like you see how small this looks. This is only. This is less than 23 feet. Wait until you go inside and you see how they use the space. How big this looks like inside. Yep. So here's your. Here's the door catch, so you can, if you want to leave your screen door open, you can do that. All right, so here, Infinity Weave, all, all throughout the whole RV. I'll take these off. Okay. So you want to come over here and I'll yeah. start. Well, you want to set some of the specs right here? Let me show sure. people really yeah, quick. Sure, yeah, go ahead. 22 feet, four inches long. There are your capacities, 30 on the gray, 26 on the black, 44 on the, on the fresh, which is pretty good. Gross vehicle weight rating is 7,500 pounds, and there's your height, weight, and length. All right, so right when you walk in, you have a nice storage closet with some storage bins underneath with these little... Little holder little, yeah, things. Yeah, so nothing falls out. All right, then up above, you have another large ugh, storage compartment. And again, what is in tech always... They're known for their beautiful blue, blue light. the blue lighting. It's really nice. So a lot of windows here, okay, with shades. Okay, come down. Um, this whole, here's your whole dining area, here. which is really a good size, okay? This table turns. This actually converts into a bed option for you as well, all right? So you can sit here, you can eat, and there's the TV. <laughs> so the TV's right over there. Um, which I'm sure is going to be a telescoping. Yeah, that'll pull out so you can sit and eat and watch. Um, here's your radio, some speakers, more storage up above. And you do have some tracks over here, uh, like those tie downs. So if you want to attach, yeah, something attach there. things yep. on there, you can yep. do that. So then the kitchen area, you got a deep bowl, stainless steel sink with some good storage underneath. Okay, nice residential looking appliance you've got more oh, storage up above there okay and it's good that you struts hold it in place the fans on that actually feels good um i like this some hooks for your kitchen area you're going to have a dometic two burner cooktop okay and here's your microwave convection with some drawers underneath oh and they give you the uh little drying rack. space saver for the yeah for the sink so that's good now moving over to the bathroom you want to switch again yeah all right so here's the bathroom oh you know what i didn't mention this is actually um i didn't get to that this is a norco this is a 12 volt um fridge no fins no fins no it's 12 volt which is a lot of them are now people are going to ask about solar that is uh available also about upgrading batteries so, that is available also yes this prototype only has one battery right. in it so here's the, the bathroom it is a wet bath five nine so if you stand here you have a little extra room and they give this little thing to hold your shower accessories some hooks there so it's a decent size for a wet bath and you're oh, gone and you got a mirror too in case you want to watch yourself shower <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> All right, let's switch again. 
All right, so here's your bedroom. At this point, you only have the twin bed option. They are working on making it available to get a queen or, you know, something different besides the twin. So you got the two, twin, uh, two twin beds, the bl nice blue reading lights. You have storage all around, okay? Oh, these don't have struts on them. Um, here's, oh, that's not storage. Okay. No, so, but storage right next to it. So you've got those storage cabinets all the way down. And then this main one here. Looks like a little mini fridge. Okay, yeah, it does. You got two 110 outlets, and here's your light, your bedroom light switch right there. And right. some more storage underneath. Okay. Um, what's cool, too, and they did this in a couple other Intech models, they have what's called the Insta Hanger. So take a look at this. So, you know, because where are you going to hang your clothes? So, Genius. Cute, cute little place, right? A little space saving hanger and then here's your Dometic you know your AC and everything to control uh, your lights your max air fan and then right above you this beautiful large you know window here you can bring this down so when it's time for bed or if you just don't want all that light coming in the heat too. you can huh? the heat also yes absolutely yep and now Intec has, you know, they have that tilt forward design. So you can see how much room, like if you stand up front, how much headroom you have. Yeah. Again, there's no slides in here. And this is a 20, not even 23 foot coach. Yeah, and it feels large. Quite large inside. Now people are going to want to know what the price is. Did you finish up in here? You have anything else? Yes. Yeah. And I think we're good. So let us see what the price is, guys. It's on the door, I believe. Actually, it's not on the door. It's over here. Uh, it's not there either. It's not, yeah, I don't think they have it yet. <laughs> I believe the price on this is around the 60s. We'll put the Intech uh, information below. Right. I believe I saw that online. It's around 60 something. Again, thousand. today is industry day, so usually the prices are not up yet for industry day. So tomorrow they'll start having the prices up. But again, the fit and finish on Intech, if you, if you get to come to a show or if you go to any RV place, if you have an opportunity, look at the fit and finish of the RVs, like on the Airstream versus mm -hmm. some other traditional trailers and not that there's anything wrong with that But ones that cost significantly less than this you see the difference in the fit right and finish. a lot of times people say well Intech is so expensive But right. you you do get what you pay for and if you get it to not stapling even to go to the factory You will really see why you get what you pay for. Yeah, this it is, is it's a different it's environment. All welded together. It's a completely uh, step above yeah, everybody yeah, we else. We love Intech. So in the comments below, let us know what do you think about this new Intech model? Yeah. It's been a couple of years before they've had, since they've had something you know significant come out. We really like this. Pretty cool. I know they have a couple other models, but they're not here. Put in the comments below. And for myself and MJ's journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.